I just got an iPad and I haven't even had it 72 hours and look at this it's freaking frozen all right let's try to unlock it if I press the top button nothing Add. Uh, hold both buttons, the top and the center button. That's what works on the iPhone. There it goes. So I'm already an AT&T subscriber with my iPhone, and I got the iPad thinking I could just add that to my account. Well, turns out you cannot add an iPad to your existing AT&T plan. Since both the iPad and the iPhone use the same type of SIM cards, can't I just put my iPhone SIM in my iPad? With the original software that the iPad came with, you could. With the new iOS 4.2 update, you can't just plug your iPhone SIM into iPad and use the data plan. But, there's a workaround. Let's go to Safari. And there's a website called Unlock It. .co.nz. You just want to click continue. You want to create a custom APN. So all you want to do is put phone for your APN name. Notice the lowercase. Carrier blank and then create profile. It'll work its magic. It'll bring it in. So when this box pops up, click install. Now with the SIM out of my iPhone, let's just put it in the iPad. And there it is, AT&T 3G. And let's go to AOL.com. And AOL pops up with an iPad version. And that's how you get the internet to work with your iPhone 4 SIM on an iPad. So I thought the iPad would just be a toy and I didn't think I would use it that much. But the more I have it, the more I'm using it. The iPad is slowly replacing my computer. The only thing I use my computer for is to actually do work with Photoshop and stuff like that. Now if they could just figure out how to make the iPad more like a Wacom tablet with pressure sensitivity, 